Hi everyone, I've got a nice surprise to share with you today. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has launched a new product called the Raspberry Pi 400. I was sent a preview version, so over the last few days I've had a chance to take a look. So I'll open this box and show you what's inside. So, welcome back. Let's get on with it. Let's open the box and what we have here is a keyboard. This is the Pi 400. It's a keyboard but it has a built-in Pi. So it's a keyboard and inside here is a Raspberry Pi 4. I suspect um, it's going to be a compute module based um, arrangement under here. I haven't cracked this open so I don't know what's inside this. Um, I just know it's some variant of the Pi 4, so I'm going to guess it's going to be a compute module, um, possibly with a custom PCB underneath this. Um, it says Pi 400 on the label here. Um, so starting at the back, what we've got is a Raspberry Pi logo on the back, two rubber feet which stop it sliding around, two plastic feet, um, some air vents here, and through that you can just see the, uh, the, the metal that I guess is the backing of the keyboard. Um, on the front we've got a keyboard as I've said. Um, this is a UK version so I think it's 79 keys. One of those keys is a Raspberry Pi logo. Um, one of them is also a power switch up here on F10 as a power logo and you can use that to turn this on and off. Um, so when it's powered up you can press that button and it will fire up your SD card, so Raspberry Pi OS if that's what you've got um, what you've got installed. And also if you hold down that key, it will power the device off again, which is a nice neat, neat solution. Obviously all your standard keys on there as you'd expect. Obviously the interesting bit is this back edge, because there's a Pi in here, and as I say, most likely to be a compute module 4, they're able to break out all the connectors onto one edge. Now that's great if you're used to using a Pi and that Pi is getting dragged off your desk by your HDMI cable usually, where you've got cables coming out of all three um, sides. Having all the connectors on one edge really is quite nice, especially as this is designed to be used on a desktop. Because what it means is once it's on the desktop, it's really quite neat once you've got all your uh, cables coming out the same direction. So let's take a look at that back edge. Now what you'll probably recognise here is the 40 pin GPIO connector. Then there's an SD card slot and it's the clickable type. Some of you are going to love that, some of you are going to hate it. I quite like the clickable slot. Um, two HDMI uh, connectors as you'd find on a Pi 4. Uh, power, which is USB-C, uh, two USB 3 ports, one USB 2 port, one gigabit Ethernet, and here we've got a small slot, which some of you recognise as a Kensington security slot, a bit like you'd get on a laptop, which means if you've got the right security cable, you can uh, secure it to that slot. And I'm guessing if you've got a load of these in a classroom or a library, it's uh, a neater way of just stopping somebody casually walking off with it. Um, obviously it is plastic so uh, you know I guess somebody if they really really wanted to could um, break their way through that but that's a, a nice nice feature. Um, so this is a you know looks very much like the official Raspberry Pi keyboard it's obviously I can tell from the edge it probably snaps together um, I haven't attempted to take this apart because I didn't want to destroy it, given I've only just got it and it's fairly new. I'm sure somebody uh, is going to quite quickly take this back off and then we'll see exactly what's underneath there. Um, so, there we have it. Let's quickly go through the other stuff in this box. So, I guess you could consider this box to be a starter kit. So, it's got an SD card adapter in case you need um, to put it in that to reflash the card, perhaps in a laptop or an SD card reader. There's a USB-C power supply, 
which you may have seen if you've been using Pi 4s. So this official one, it's got the Raspberry Pi logo on there and a USB-C connector and it's fully wired so the wire is connected to the, the plug and this one is the output is 5.1 volt and it's rated at 3 amps um, the 5.1 volt just means that you're, you know, you're, you're not going to get the, the lightning bolt symbol show up on your Pi because it's um, struggling, your power supply is struggling to provide 5 volts um, obviously this is um, an official power supply with the logo on and although there are obviously cheap alternatives out there it's you know these aren't exactly expensive if you're buying them on their own so you really are better off just buying an official one rather than taking your chances with so many other supplies out there that often just don't quite supply the right voltage and you end up being plagued with the lightning bolt symbol so also in the kit is an official Raspberry Pi wired mouse, which isn't too exciting, but it is in the Raspberry Pi colours, with just a standard USB connector on it. Obviously you can just plug that into one of the connectors on the Pi 400, and that works fine. Um, if you don't want to use a wired mouse, it works just fine with a, a wireless mouse. I just grabbed one out of a laptop and plugged it in and it worked fine. And also what they've supplied is this book, which is the uh, official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. It's updated for the Pi 4, so heavily focused on the Pi 4. Um, goes through you know, all sorts of stuff like you know, what the, what's on the connectors do, programming in Scratch, um, some basic sort of GPIO experiments, um, physical computing, lots of software stuff. Obviously this does deal with the Raspberry Pi 4 and obviously the Pi 400 hasn't got some of the stuff you'd expect to find on a Pi 4. So some bits in this book like when it mentions the, uh, the audio jack obviously that isn't there on the Pi 400 and obviously the most significant thing I think that people are, are going to miss is the camera connector. Um, however with this you aren't going to be using this to create a wildlife camera. If you want to create a camera based product to stick in the garden, you aren't going to use one of these. Um, similarly, if you're going to make a robot, um, you probably aren't going to use one of these either. This is obviously very suited to desktop based um, projects and it's great at that. Obviously, if there are any other projects that involve, you know, um, slightly more weird and wonderful hardware, then you're just going to use another uh, one of the Raspberry Pi models. And that's fine, because this isn't trying to compete with any of those as such. It's just very good at being a desktop-based Raspberry Pi. Um, the kit also includes this HDMI cable, with obviously the correct um, uh, mini connector on the end. Um, these have got Raspberry Pi logos on as well. Um, and that obviously just lets you to connect this up to your monitor. So technically with this starter kit, all you would need is a functioning monitor with an HDMI input. And then with the power supply, the mouse and the device and the monitor cable, um, you'll be good to go. And I guess the book is going to give a beginner you know, a good head start. Although, as I say, because this is based for the Pi 4, Maybe there's a bit of scope for a little bit of confusion, possibly, if this mentions something that they aren't going to find on here. Um, so, you know, if you're buying this for a, uh, a young child, they just might need a bit of, bit of, um, bit of guidance. Um, I've got very little information about this kit I was sent. Um, it looks like a starter kit. I'm sure there'll be other configurations available and maybe they'll swap out this book for one that's directly um, related to this. I'm not quite sure what their, their plans are. Um, and also it'd be good if you could actually just buy this on its own because if you've already got stuff for the Raspberry Pi 4, like the power supply, obviously you can have cables and mice. It'd be nice just to get one of these um, on its own without necessarily needing one of these. Um, 
but yeah, so overall it's great, it makes a great desktop computer. Um, so I ran it for a few days just as a desktop and I'm going to write the blog post about this device on this device, which I wouldn't normally do. I don't tend to use a Pi to do blog posts or messing around with photos, but I thought it just seemed appropriate this time. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I think that's it. Um, it for now. I'm sure there's going to be tons more information come out about this on launch day and in the days that follow. Um, I know a lot of you will already have Raspberry Pis. This isn't really going to take anything away from those, but it is a useful device, I think, especially if you've just got space to leave it connected up to a monitor. And obviously use your other Pis for all those other sort of pro you know, projects that you might use. Obviously there's loads of stuff you can do with the Pi that this wouldn't be the, the best device for, but for desktop-based um, productivity sort of projects this is great and obviously you could use this to write the code for you know any other projects you've got going so I'll probably leave this one permanently set up um, and just use it as a desktop computer um, and see how I get on with that anyway hope you enjoyed seeing this and you know hope for those of you who are going to go on to actually order one of these, um, I hope you enjoy it. I think you'll, um, I think you will. I quite liked it. It was a nice surprise to get. Take care and um, enjoy your Pi 400s.